so you will be enabled to deal with the parent layout or the master layout in adobe indesign so let's get started okay so i have opened adobe indesign and there are two formats two layouts that we will apply on the adobe indesign pages so the main purpose of this video is to gain the understanding that what is the significance of this parent item or you can call it out as master item right so just for an example i have created this layout or you can say the design so we can assume that there are multiple categories or multiple sections in 20 to 30 pages booklet or magazine and you have to apply the same layout on let's say on 10 pages and then from 10 to 20 pages there will be some different layout for example this one and for pages 30 to 40 you have some different layout so if you like in adobe illustrator you have to copy paste and put in the separate artboard again and again but that is where the adobe in design has an edge and we can make use of this master layout or the parent layout and let's see how it works so let's suppose we have multiple pages uh, you can see that we have created around 21 pages and we want this layout to be applied from page 1 to 10 okay just for an assumption so what we need to do here you can see the parent item okay so first of all we will be clicking on the parent item and here you can see that the parent options for a parent okay and here you can see the number of pages basically this layout has a single page right now okay so we are going to work on the spread like on like ebooks or magazines so we have to put two over here that our spread consists of two pages so you can see now this is the parent item and we have to apply this parent item from page number one to page number 10 so what we need to do just copy this design double click on the parent and paste it over here okay and then again click on the pages so you can see it has applied the layout here you can see the small a that indicates that the parent layout has been applied on all the pages till page 21 okay but what we want we want the layout to be applied on 10 and from page 11 to 20 we want this layout to be placed okay so what for this purpose what we have to do click right right click new parent call it parent b number of pages 2 and click ok ok and we want this design to be applied so just copy this double click on the parent and adjust it like this ok and we are we are back on the pages as you can see that it still has the red layout on all the pages the reason is that this parent layout is not applied on pa page number 10 to 11 so we can also apply the same parent on all the pages just make selection like this right click apply parent to pages you can select a or b whatever you want to put and simply click ok one the page two three four five six and eight and nine has this red layout and from page number 10 this is page number 10 sorry page number 12 this is page number 12 and 13 it has the green layout so in the same way you can incorporate multiple layouts on different pages the importance is that whenever you are designing like for suppose the pages the book having pages 300 to 400 pages it is almost impossible to place the layout in this manner we can also modify it for example we want some text to be placed over here so we have to do go in the parent just for an example i am putting just my name over here okay and we can scale it like this in the same way we can also put on the left hand side okay so where now you can see as soon as i click on the page number this has been applied on the page 
okay now we are in the pages look the page number 2 3 4 5 6 7 each and every page has the same text that we applied on the parent layout so this is the basic understanding of the master layout and you can make use of it and it can surely speed up your graphic works or designing work